Hey all, back with a fourth video of the Zeta FX61. Uh, in this video here, we're just going to go over the two cameras that I'm going to install, the um, video, also the video transmitter. I'm going to hook everything up and probably set up the on-screen display through using the, the goggles and the, the ground station. So I hope you enjoy it. Sit back and this should be the last video and it will be the last video I think before the before the maiden flight. Cheers guys, enjoy. So basically the next step I'm up to is the second camera. This is the FPV camera. It's a <coughs> it's a run cam Eagle 2. And it's gonna be running a VTX. This isn't really how I wanted to do this, but I'm going to start I'm gonna I bought this it's a TBS Unify Pro 5G8. It's saying it goes from 25 um, milliwatts up to one watt. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to set set it up with this to start with. I've also got this. It's a it's a part on video receiver. This is a long range video receiver which I bought on Banggood. It's a works on uh, lower frequencies which are supposed to give you a lot further range I've been told so I'm keen to try that but for some reason I can't get the on-screen display on it so until I work that out I'm going with the Unify so I'm going to mount this disregard the wiring this wiring is all temporary it was just to test it it's all working what I'm doing next to what I'm up to is to solder all this together properly and put heat shrink um, over the wires of the transmitter and also the cable I've had to make this cable. This is the end that fits into the into the flight controller, and I just cut cut the cable that came with the flight controller, and also cut the cable that came with the run cam, and basically manufactured a cable from that. Pretty much the same with the Unify as well. So it's all set up. It's running now. I've just got to solder it. So we'll come back with that. Okay, so that's the finished product there. The run cam wiring's all done and heat shrinked, soldered up, heat shrinked, ready to fit, and the VTX as well. Now, if you can see this, there's, this VTX has two negatives, right? I'll just get this out. Now, the plan I got with this, if I can get it out, there we go. So, you got a spare negative. There's also a wire I've pulled out of here. It's um, down the bottom there, five volt output. So that five volt output wire, I'm gonna, I'm going to put back in, and this extra second uh, ground wire that comes out of the plug, I'm going to use that to power the um, run run cam split. Effectively, the um, run cam split because I still got to rewire it. So I'm not going to worry too much. I don't think about the yellow wire, which will be just your your standard VTX. All I want to do is power it. It's got a, got an SD card in it, and wire it up so that it automatically turns on and records. So that'll be my footage there. Trying to get the the on-screen display across. That that will be something I'm going to try and work out. I'm not sure whether I can do or not with that, but. We'll see, I'll see what I can do, but I just want to get it to record first with the two cameras. And both cameras will be mounted on a head tracking unit. So both the cameras will sit like that on the head tracking unit. The only concern I've got, I'm not sure how it's going to work to be honest. It's a, it's an all trial and error still, but the plan is to try and get the two, but the split, because it's got this cable I'm not sure how free that's going to be. I've got some slack there, but when it's mounted, it could be sitting quite high. So I'm not too sure how free that's going to allow the head tracking unit to turn. So either way, we'll have to just experiment and do some testing when that time comes. So as it is now, all these do, we just plug these in to the flight controller. The camera plugs into the camera port. It's got camera written on it, so you can't get anything wrong. Now the VTX is beside the camera, and it just plugs in basically like that. Not, 
I'm not too sure where I'm going to mount that one yet. Uh, we'll sort that out eventually. But everything is working. If I, let's see, if I can get a battery, I can power that on. That, that should work. We'll have a bit of a look. Now this gets fairly warm so I don't want to I've got to mount that properly so just better watch that that's not set up either so that's all powered up let me just get some goggles and we'll have a look okay so I'm look we're looking inside the goggles now that's everything powered on so you can see I've got text which is run cam and there's voltage on the bottom left and a timer on the bottom right that's part of the run cam eagle I'm going to turn that off so you can read so you can read uh, other things from the on-screen display it's still not totally set up yet because I've got to add a few more things into this OSD but it's basically set up and that's how it's going to look it looks like I've got to move a little bit in I've got to move the voltage of the battery across from the top right hand side it's got to come over to the left a little bit so you can see it all and I might also bring this the satellite which is flashing in the top left I think I'll bring that one down a little bit and across so you can read it easier same with the uh, altitude and the speed airspeed I'm going to bring them all down just a little bit I've got uh, it says navigation is unsafe and um, that's my warning there so it will tell me if I've uh, any warnings will pop up there and the top it's got FS that's going to tell me the mode I'm in at the moment nothing's turned on so that's the reason why that's not saying anything but that should tell me it's armed up there it should tell me when it's unarmed and what mode I'm in so that's all working that's looking good actually I've just got to do a bit of tinkering with that okay so just connected I've got the I've got it still plugged in and I'm going to connect it up to the computer onto the laptop here and we'll go into iNav okay now we're in iNav here and the the planes connected up we will connect to I, iNav so that should be connected I'll move the plane and it moves the diagram here okay so we're connected I want to go into the on-screen display this is the main reason I've done it everything else is set up now like I said before I want to move things down a little bit so this is very simple you click it and you just drag it to where you want it so I'm just going to lower things down a little bit and at the same time I can check it through the I can check it through the um, goggles as well to see how it looks now the voltage I want to move across a bit and we'll move that over across a little bit too quite happy with that uh, these here this is what I was talking about we couldn't see these at the bottom here the bottom left so we'll bring this one up somewhere there let's have a look that's fairly good there that's the time the minute the flight time that there I don't know what that is I've got the channel name that can come up what's that look like right there yep that's a perfect spot there so that's about the size of my screen that's the bottom of it there the full window that you see here the um, FPV screen only comes down to about here so this bottom part here isn't shown in my goggles so the craft name I'm not going to worry about the craft name um, what I'll do is toggle that off you can come over here and you just switch it off and craft name disappears if I need to add anything to it um, I can do that later on but at the moment that looks quite good so now we've got to save that we we'll click save and that'll save it to the flight controller so next time that's how it's going to look
you can actually change the fonts there's quite a bit you can do if I go into font manager here there's many fonts you can different you can change the fonts to different different types I'm not going to worry too much about that at this stage either everything else is set up I've got my modes all set up ready to go arm mode angle mode horizon mode there's a lot of a lot of different settings here which I've already set up all set up to my Tyrannus X9D I can actually even put in different on-screen displays so if I want to change the font uh, I can do that and save it to a different I can save it to a different um, a different setting so you've got different layouts here so alternate layout 1 alternate layout 2 and alternate layout 3 um, like I said I wanted to run the two cameras run cam split and the run cam eagle together during the flight uh, so what I've just done I've taken the I've taken the wiring harness from the from the video transmitter so that plugs in that'll plug into there and I've like I said before it has a spare earth ground cable which go I'm, I'm taking that one to the split that's the run cam split and on the other side of it here which is, I've had to use a white wire not a red wire because that's a five volt output on the transmitter but it's a five volt output that is so I'm using a white wire unfortunately I didn't have a red wire so it's going to the red wire on the run cam split so the plan is now it, it'll power both cameras when we plug the craft in I bet to extend the leads a little bit because I'm not too sure yet where I'm going to be where I will be installing the transmitter I think that's plenty long enough though hopefully it is but I think it is I'll make sure it is <laughs> anyway we'll see how it goes in a second I'll I'll get this together and we'll boot it up and just see if it all works. Okay, so that's going in just like that. So that's all plugged in now. We'll boot it up and we'll just see what we've got. Now the run cam split. I'm not going to be able to see what that's doing. Uh, that has a Wi-Fi module. Which is this? It's a Wi-Fi module here, which uh, with that connects up to the bottom of the split. So we'll not even plug that in now, actually. So now I'll be able to have a look at what's on the on this camera through my phone. It runs on Wi-Fi. It's a good way to set up the camera as well. Okay, so we'll boot this up and just have a little look. So hopefully next time we'll be up and flying with this and we'll give it a test flight just a short test flight just to see how it how it handles and what trimming it, trimming it might need and we'll go from there there's still plenty to do with it but hopefully we can get a bit of a flight test done on it at the same time so hope you enjoyed that take care everyone and we'll see you next video bye for now